appreciate the opportunity. Not a problem. Um, hi everyone, it's great to see you all here today in support of this very important cause. Um, I'm Brad Morelli, uh, the National Managing, Part Managing Partner of Jersh Sutherland. We're a proudly independent national business recovery and insolvency firm. Um, I live local, a former Maitland residence, but now I'm on an acreage about 15 minutes out of Maitland and work primarily from our um, Newcastle office, which has been around for 27 years. Jersh Sutherland has always taken men's health, um, as most senior people in our industry are males. Um, and more specifically, mental health very serious, seriously, and even more so during this incredibly challenging year, which everything seems to have been turned upside down. The nature of our business sees us regularly meeting with business owners in financial distress, and as a result, whose mental health may also be suffering. While our role focuses on restructuring, saving, and ensuring the orderly winding up of a business, we consider that helping business owners and directors, the majority of which are men, seek the right mental health support is equally as important. So how do we do this? We started with making a long-term commitment to help anyone in distress, clients, referrers, and also our colleagues and workmates. And this began with overhauling our mental health, and also overhauling probably beginning the mental health program. One plus years on, with our special mental health and wellbeing program in place, everyone now at Church Shuttle knows how to reach out and help those suffering stress and anxiety by recognising the signs of mental ill health and putting them in contact with the appropriate professional support. All of the firm's partners, principals and managers have also attained a mental health first aid certificate which provides practical first aid skills to helping people experiencing mental health challenges. It's an initiative that made Jersh Shuttle the first insolvency practice in Australia to implement a company-wide mental health training program. And this year, as a result, we're proud to have been recognised as a gold accredited workplace by Mental Health First Aid Australia. Proud because we know we can now do more to help. Over the years, my colleagues and I have found that some businesses may appear to be okay, but are fast heading into the red. Now, in the current environment, more than ever, it's important for business owners and directors to do a business health check on themselves and on their business. Um, for example, on 7.31, a key or a number of key government support measures, including the insolvent trading moratorium, come to an end. Um, business owners shouldn't be ashamed of asking for help if they're experiencing financial stress, whether it's speaking with a trusted advisor such as their accountant or insolvency and turnaround practitioners such as myself. We're here to listen and provide a way forward. We've also found that just one conversation can start to relieve the pressures. And the sooner a solution is action, the better an outcome. On a final note, um, and I know I sort of <laughs> generally, my experience of over 20 years has seen that most business owners experiencing financial challenges who have the most serious impacts on themselves, that is physical and mental well-being, they tend to be male and they tend to be older males in regional areas. Um, another good reason to support the causes today. On that note, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to be involved.